you look like a Marcy May. You like it here? Yeah, it's great. You know, I know people have abandoned you your whole life. If you feel safe here, and I hope you do, let us in. But if you're going to live here, you need to be a part of things. Well, she... When I read the script, I didn't, I didn't think of it too much as solely about a cult. So I understood that it was something taboo, but he approached in a way that made it feel more rooted in a reality that I don't think I've seen before. If it is a cult story, it's it's a side that we don't see. It's it's it asks the question: What happens right after that traumatic event that a person has escaped from? I guess the main question of the film is is uh, is how do you find your home? How do you find your place in the world? It doesn't offer a lot of answers, but it certainly asks the questions in a very effective way. Where do they go at night? Well, she she's just a pig. Think of someone who hurt you. Feel how they made you feel. Reason, reason, reason. Let it build. Release. The character was, uh, he didn't exactly spring from the page, but the story itself did. And uh, I always, I guess when I approach material, think what is the story and then how can my character help best tell that story? We need to follow Lizzie Olson's character, Martha, throughout the film. And it gives her a great deal more credibility if, if Patrick isn't someone who's immediately seen through uh, by, by the audience or her. If, if he's more of a cipher, then I think we can understand why she might fall in with him and, and this group of people. And that makes her more interesting to watch than if he's obviously the devil incarnate when we meet him. Um, I mainly relied on what was on the page. Um, and I'm happy I did because I, Sean gave me the option of, of speaking with someone who he spoke with, but, um, but that, that to me seemed like I was invading someone's privacy for a reason of, of telling a fictional story, and I, I, I felt weird about that. Um, and also I feel like I might have tried to pay reverence to someone else's story instead of focusing on the story that we were telling. You know that death is beautiful because it creates complete awareness. Death is pure love. Um, probably the, the challenging was actually trying to give her hope, because that wasn't so much on the page, but I tried really hard for her to have some sort of hope and goals and dreams. Martha, what happened to you? 